Hey guys, welcome to another playthrough. It's time. We've gone through Skyward Sword, we've gone through Ocarina of Time, we've gone through Majora's Mask, and just recently we've gone through Wind Waker. And now, it's time to head on in to The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess HD. Hell yeah, man. I'm very excited for this. I have not played this game in like years. It's been a really long time since I've played this game. And I think it's also like the Zelda game I've replayed the least amount so very excited to be doing it again as um, there's a lot of stuff that I love about this game so enough about that let's jump right in all right here we go you know the drill on boy link and also a cool thing about Twilight Princess is being able to name Epona if you want to uh, I've never done it but I'm sure people have uh, done some funny names before <laughs> Alright, yes, start normal mode, and here we go. Let the journey begin. Tell me, do you ever feel a strange sadness as dusk falls? They say it's the only time when our world intersects with theirs. The only time we can feel the lingering regrets of spirits who have left our world. That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. But enough talk of sadness. I have a favor to ask of you, Link. I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yes, it was a task set to me by the mayor, but would you go in my stead? You have never been to Hyrule, right? In the kingdom of Hyrule, there is a great castle, and around it is Castle Town, a community far bigger than our little village. And far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world that God's created. You should look upon it all with your own eyes. It's getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk to the mayor about this matter. And the night continues to fall. Hey, hey Link! You there? Yep, he's there, man. He's just, uh, what you want him for. Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? They ain't listening to me lately. He's got you, man. He'll be right there. <laughs> Just give him a sec. Hey, where's Epona? Ugh. 
All right, sir, he's here. Come on now, hurry on up and bring your Pono with you. Yeah, yeah, he's got you. Uh, you know, you know how it is. Daily deals with uh, uh, random girls just going on by and uh, stealing your horse. You know how it is. <laughs> you know the deal around here. Yeah, here we go. Time to begin moving around. And here we are. Oh, did not mean to talk to you again. Sorry about that, sir. Um, he's um, having fun throwing rocks right now as uh, he's trying to get some rupees and all that. Let's see if we can get another one over here. Nice. Okay, Link, enough screwing around. Let's head on into the forest. Where are Pona waits. Alright, here we are. I'm pretty sure you could get some more rupees in those rocks too, but uh, we're gonna ignore them for now. We don't really need them. I just wanted to get them at the rocks by Link's house. Oh, hi, Link. I washed Epona for you. Link, you're not gonna thank her? You're just gonna smile at her? <laughs> I always thought that was pretty funny. This Link, he's like, he didn't even say thank you, he's just like, oh, man, that's nice. In uh, terms of smiles, not the words. Epona works really hard, so I thought she deserved a treat. Oh, but listen, Link, could you do something for me? Can you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one that Epona likes? Of course, he's got you. Go ahead and play some Epona song. <laughs> no matter where it's played, whether it be through some horse grass or an ocarina, whatever, Epona always likes it. It's such a nice melody. Epona looks happy. Well, she's all prettied up now, so I suppose you can ride her back. But don't you make her do too much, okay? Eh, he'll be fine. He's just gonna be using her to hurt some goats. You know how it is. <laughs> Uh, nothing too dangerous there, I don't think. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Epona, don't say a word. If you get hurt, don't say shit. <laughs> okay, I remember, um, I know controlling Epona is a little... It's not, like, weird, but, like, it's a little different in Twilight Princess. As she gets, like, the most of her speed from, like, sprinting instead of just normally walking. But enough about that, here we are at Ordon Village. Link's hometown here in Twilight Princess. It's a, you know, nice little cute village. Alright. Saddle on up. And yes, I know Link has uh, got some major uh, important business to do, but you know what? Let's have him talk to the townsfolk. Oh, if it isn't young Link. Are you going to close down the ranch for the day? I just closed the shop myself. I'm sure you know all about the mischievous monkeys that have been coming into the village lately. Those things worry me a bit. I'd better lock up tight here. I couldn't stand to have any more goods stolen. Can't trust that good-for-nothing husband to do anything right. Come on, Dad. You can't catch a silly little monkey. Uh, well, no. No, I can't. Damn. Oh, listen to us, Babylon. I didn't mean to keep you. All right, off to work with you. <laughs> yeah, he's got you. But you know what? He's going to talk to some more people first before he does that. How you doing? Oh, hi, Link. I'm making you a fishing rod, you know. All I have left to do is paint it, so get ready for fishing. Aw, oh, that's very kind of you, man. Oh. Great timing, Link. There was something I'd forgotten to tell you. My son, Colin, is making a fishing rod so the two of you can play together. You should finish it today so you can come and get it at the house tomorrow. Well, uh, you know what? Next time you might want to think to say it earlier. You know, your son Colin already mentioned that to him, but uh, thanks, sir. <laughs> Let's 
go ahead and talk to the mayor as well. Oh, Link. Looks like you're going to help Fado. Good job. He headed up to the ranch ahead of you. You go finish up your chores before the sun goes down. And he's going to do just that. Alright, Link. Enough talking to people. <laughs> it's time to do your work. We've neglected it long enough. Here we are in Ordon Ranch. And God, seeing these goats just brings back some uh, very um, frustrating memories, as you'll see later on. Actually, it's probably sooner than later. Never mind. Sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Link. These guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud. But how's about you and Epona herd him into the barn real quick? We ain't got much time, so hurry on up and get ready. Just climb up onto Epona. Give me a holler when you're ready. He's got you, bro. Oh, man, these goats, man. It, this herding session is alright, but I'll just say for now, later on, there's a point in the game to where you can come back and do this, and my god, it's very annoying, but I'll save talking about that when we get to that point. Y'all about ready to start herding these goats? Well, damn right he is. <laughs> all right, let's start. Sorry for all the cuts here. There's been way too many sirens going past my house, and I would rather not have them in the video. Like I was trying to say is the, the key with the herding these goats here is you want to kind of just, like, pass them by like that. But you don't want to get too close to them because they'll start to run them around in the other direction. But spamming the whoop here as you get pretty close to them will eventually... Throw him into the barn like that. Oh, oh, was there a lone? Lone guy? Man, you want to be cool, huh? Don't you? Oh, there's two of them. Y'all want to be so, so different, so bad, man. You know what? Get your ass in that barn. They ain't screwing around. They got work to do. The sunset's falling, you know. You ain't got much time. Come on, goats. Be some good little goats and please get into the barn. Please. There we go. <laughs> nice. And with all that, just with having problems there, you can see, later on it gets very annoying. Link, Epona, much obliged to both of y'all. I can cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you, so just sit back and relax, bud. Oh, but uh, how about today? Want to practice with the fences? Just wait a spell, bud. I'll get them fences set up. Whew, sorry that took so long. Okay then, y'all ride all you want. Y'all get tired of riding? Just jump the gate and head back into the village. Okay, bud? He's got you. We're not gonna mess around with the gates too much. Oh my god. God damn it, Epona. Come on, you don't want to jump over? <laughs> yeah, it's just a little training course, I guess, uh, with Epona. In case you want to, you know, test her out a bit. If your skills with her are not good, I guess. Whatever, but we're good to go. Let's go ahead and use Epona to jump the gate. I always thought that was cool, like, doing that stuff, just actively seeing the sky fall to, like, darkness. Very cool. Yes, of course I want to save the game. Why wouldn't I? Yes, uh, very important. Save him whenever. Hey, wake up, Link! It's morning already! Yep, second day in a row where people are calling for him. You know, Link's quite the popular person here in Hordon Village. Yeah, we got some, uh, very rowdy bunch of kids. Alright, Link, come on and jump off down. And before, you know, before we go and, uh, see the kids, I always like walking around Link's house, because, you know, he's got some pretty cool things around here. You know, he's got a painting of a goat... He's got a painting of uh, his friend, the trainer guy. He's got a nice little cooking pot here, you know, with soup that looks, I guess, somewhat almost identical to uh, Grandma's soup from Wind Waker. You know, he's got his uh, cleaning stuff here, all sorts of stuff. He's even got a basement, which is dark as hell, as you can see. It's like pitch black in there. And he's got his cleaning rack, you know, 
bunch of wooden stuff. You know, like, for a little wooden hut house thing, it's not that bad. <laughs> you know, it could be a little better, but, you know, it's all good. Alright, kids, that's how you backflip off in style. Oh, Link! Did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot! I wonder how powerful it is. I... I need... I must try it. Talo, if you and Mala want it so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any rupees in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth. Can't you just loan it to us for a while? You know I'd get in trouble for that. If you two want it, save up your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. Ah, uh, I wish I was born into a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. Damn, that's tough, man. You know what? Because Link is so kind. He's going to do this out of the kindness of his heart. He's going to go ahead and stack up some rupees for you for that slingshot. Hi, Link. I finished the fishing rod I was making. I thought I'd give it to you first thing in the morning, but... My dad said, you just wait until Link comes to get it. That's why I didn't bring it to you. Dad's out today, so... Would you ask my mom about it? I think she's by the river. Don't worry, Colin. He's got you. Yes, from what I remember, uh, I believe in this part of the game, you want to save up enough rupees to buy the slingshot to go show it off to the kids. Well, hey. Morning, Link. Got a day off from work today, my boy. Not me. The wife's been hassling me. Today's the day to restock our store. Look, see that? Up in that tree? You can get a better view by pressing R and then using R to move for the gamepad to look around, just by the way. Yeah, some Ordon bees built themselves a fine nest up there, and I was thinking about knocking it down. Our cat hasn't come home since yesterday, so the wife's in a bad mood. At the very least, I need to bring something home to her. Sir, I don't recommend uh, a beehive. Um, you know, they, um... They look pretty feisty. I, I mean, hey, if you want to do it, be my guest, but I don't recommend it. Oh, um, good morning to you. Did you come to get the fishing rod that Colin made? Well, yes, he did. I'm really sorry, but would you hear me out first? You have not seen a cradle come floating by here, have you? It is a baby's cradle made of finely woven tree bark. Oh, such a misfortune. How far could it have drifted? I wonder. Hey, don't worry, he's on the case, you know. He's, he's got his day off, you know, he's free to do whatever he wants. Such as ruining the pumpkin fields, yeah! <laughs> hey man, it's worth it. I get some big money out of this shit. Very worth it. Sometimes you can get blue rupees out of these too. Yo, don't waste food! Shit, sorry man, you know, he's just got money. Y'all don't know the secret of your own pumpkins? If you throw them and break them, they spawn money? You know what? He should be the one being mad at you. Y'all could save up on some money for <laughs> breaking your own pumpkins. Okay, I I noticed in the bottom of my screen, the rupee counter is not showing. It shows the green rupee, but I don't know. I can't remember. Is that supposed to be like that until like later? Or is there supposed to be numbers for rupee showing? I cannot remember. Because I, I am playing this game on a... um. Uh, how shall I say this? Not officially, uh, I guess. I'm, I'm really later. So, <clears throat> you didn't hear it from me. So, uh, <laughs> I have no idea if that rupee thing is like a glitch or not, but I don't know. Because I, I don't know how much rupees we got, but hopefully it's not too bad of a problem. Yo, Link! Yo, up here! I want to talk to you. Press A while holding ZL so we can chat. He's got you. Hey, there you go. Over here. Yeah, your voice carries well as usual. Maybe you could teach my tykes that you've got to press A while ZL targeting to talk to people from a distance. They don't get it. So listen, why don't you climb up those vines there, Link? You know what? You're one step ahead. He was just about to do that. Yo, there you are. Check this out. You know Sarah at the general store? Well, isn't that her cat over there? He's just been sitting there next to my house, having a staring contest with the creek. 
You don't suppose he's thinking he's gonna catch a fish, do you? Ha ha ha. A cat can't catch no fish. Anyway, that's not what I was meaning to tell you about. I want you to take a look at something. See that grass growing there on the edge of that rock? Haven't I seen you whistling with that stuff? I figured it was pretty rare to see it growing in a place like that, so I thought I'd let you know. I bet you could hop across these rocks with just a quick little left forward, couldn't you? Ah, oh, yes, you can. But yes, uh, these, this grass is going to be important. So let's go ahead and blow it. Pause. <laughs> When the badass power of village grass, Link can now have like a hawk on his side. Hell yeah. What we want to do is, I don't know if you can see, there's a monkey all the way in the distance over there. I'm going to go ahead and line up this hawk guy. That should be, no, no, that was too far. Oh shit, I forgot there was grass at the end of the tunnel there. Or <laughs> end of the, the platforms there. Sorry there, hawk. You got a bit too carried away. Alright, let's do that again. Go have my uh, line up here. There we go. And that should be the cradle taken back. Nice. Sorry there, monkey, but it's not yours. I, uh, Colin's mom needs it much more than you do. <laughs> nice. Let's go ahead and take this cradle carefully back to his mom. So that way we can get the fishing rod to go help out Sarah's cat over there. Oh, Link. That cradle. Did you go to the trouble of finding it for me? My thanks to you. Oh, that reminds me. There is something I'm supposed to give to you. Do you think you could carry that cradle and come with me back to my house? Don't worry, he's got you. You can do just that. So, uh, you know, how's it going with you? Uh, what do you think the new baby's gonna be? Is it gonna be a boy? Is it gonna be a girl? You know, what, what you hoping for is uh, what Link would probably be curious about, I guess, you know? Hoping for anything specific? Are you maybe going to throw a party with them? Hey, I don't recommend inviting the monkeys. They went ahead and stole your cradle. They'd probably be stealing much more than that, so, uh, you're hurting from Link. Uh, it's probably not good to invite them. My thanks to you, Link. Yes, yes. I had nearly forgotten. I'm supposed to give you this. Alright. Here you go. And there it is! You got a fishing rod! Our first item in the game. A simple fishing rod with a bobber. Set to Y, X, or R on the item screen to use it. Face the water and use it to cast. Press and hold the assigned button to pull the line in when you get a bite. You can catch fish without bait, but you'll catch a larger variety of fish with bait. It is a little unpolished. My son Colin made this under the instruction of his father. You can use it if you like. Well, he's gonna do just that and damn I forgot that's kind of messed up saying your own son's project for Link it's like oh I don't know it could use some work it's not really that good <laughs> your own mother say that to you Colin that's messed up <laughs> okay but now we got that fishing rod go ahead and assign it and uh, the cat was over here let's go ahead and uh, have Link help out the cat here if I remember, there's a specific type of fish we want to be keeping an eye out for. I don't remember what it's called, but I just remember that it's specific. And I do know that the fishing controls are a little strange in this game. Every time I replay this game, I always forget the controls for it, so it might take me a little bit to remember again. There we go. We got it. Nice. Fish on, Link! Pull! You got this, Link! Determination! Hell yeah. I, I don't remember if the green gill is what we need, but uh, we'll see. There we go. Nice. And the cat goes ahead and takes it. After all that trouble Link went out of his way to get. And off he goes. Back to the shop. Through his little kitty door. But hey, you know what? That means Link can buy the slingshot now. Because now it's time to go impress those kids. How you doing? Oh my, Link! You simply must hear this! Just take a look! My little kitty, Link, came back! He brought a fish back with him. He was worried about me being angry. Oh, just look. Isn't he so cute? The way he laps up that milk. Say, my dear, why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. 
Well, thank you very much. You got milk in a bottle. This bottle's half empty. Set it to and use it with Y, X, or R to replenish three hearts. Store things in an empty bottle by pressing Y, X, or R to swing it. You know, typical empty bottle stuff in Zelda. Oh, don't worry. You don't have to return the empty bottle, my dear. You can reuse it, you know. Put something else in it. Recycling is a very important thing, my dear. I'm sure you never do anything of the sort, but kids these days toss things out like the whole world was disposable. It's criminal! So, what do you say, my dear? Is there anything you want today? If you're interested, take a look around. He will! He wants that slingshot. I don't know if we have enough, but we'll see. Oh, we don't have enough? Oh, god damn it. Alright. Okay, this should be more than enough. I think. Do we have enough? There we go. Hell yeah! What are you doing buying a slingshot, you naughty thing? You're too old for toys. We would at least let the kids play with it. Oh, I should tell you. If you happen to run out of pellets, you can also use pumpkin seeds. You got the slingshot! Children love this item. You can hold up to 50 pellets. Set it to Y, X, or R on the item screen to use it. With L or gamepad screen and press the button to fire. Target with ZL for accuracy. Hell yeah, man. No, I do not want B larvae. No, I do not want that. He just wants the slingshot. Thank you very much, though. No, oh, just in time, Link. I just delivered something to your room. Oh, I see you got the fishing rod. Colin will be pleased. And it works better than you would think, right? Well, have a good one. You too, sir. You know, he's got some important business to do, such as showing off to the kids. <clears throat> Get ready, Link. It's show-off time. <clears throat> hey, kids, how you doing? He's got a slingshot. Y'all want to see? <laughs> Link has a slingshot! Wow! Wow, you had enough money to buy it, Link? Of course he did, man. Who do you think he is? You know, he totally didn't just go around smashing pumpkins and shit to buy this. You know, I totally had enough to save it up already. Preparations complete. Okay, wow, this is great! Let's see how powerful that slingshot is! Hit the targets and those scarecrows! I can't believe you two brats are so obsessed about this. It just shows what little boys you both still are. These two idiots will never shut up about it, so I guess we'll just have to show them, Link. You know what? He's got you. Be amazed, kids. Gee, you hit it, but it didn't break. Link, if you can't damage the body, then aim for the face. The face! Yeah, you know, he knows what he's doing. He just wanted to make sure you were watching, that's all. You know how it is. But good to know you are. There you go. That's amazing, Link! The slingshot manual said that it's easier to hit things if you hold ZL while you aim it. Did you call us obsessed with this thing? You're the one memorizing the manual. <laughs> I don't know, Beth. Seems like you kind of like this slingshot here. Get your bitch ass, spider ass, off Link's property. How dare you. Go, showing off with the targets here. One there. There we go. And one more here. Wow, amazing, Link. Yeah, thanks, Link. Anytime, anytime. He's got you. Gee, you really are amazing, Link. By the way, Link, were you expecting Colin's dad to bring something by here? Because he did. Oh yeah, that's right. What was that anyway? I command you to tell us. Eh, don't worry. He's got you. Just gotta give him some time, you know? Just gotta go pop into the house real quick. But don't worry, trust, he'll be back. And it's gift time, as a random magical chest appears to spawn in Link's house as a gift. With this, you got the wooden sword. Russell will return it after honing it for you. It's easy to use, just press B. Hell yeah, man. Link's finally got a sword now. Not quite the sword you'd want him to have, but you know, it's still something. Alright, Link, get ready. 
Showtime round two, here we go. If you thought they were impressed by the slingshot, they're surely gonna be impressed by this. It's time. What's good, kids? Hey, if y'all thought a slingshot was cool, just take a look at this. Yeah, it's a sword. <laughs> Bet y'all are jealous, huh? Oh my, isn't that a wooden sword, Link? Wow, she's right. Hey, can I see it for a sec? Seriously, lately these monkeys have been coming out of the woods and playing tricks on us. We want to get them good. Come on, teach us how to use a sword. Yeah. All right, you greedy kids. Yes. You know, Link's got stuff to do, such as uh, relaxing. You know, it's his day off after herding goats, so... You know what? He's kind, so he'll do it for you. Alright, first off, we want to see that move. The slice. Uh, you just swing with B, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, a horizontal slice. Was that it? Was it? I think I've seen you do a vertical slice before, too, you know. Uh, press B while ZL targeting. Alright, next. Oh, ooh. I want to see that other move, Link. Yeah, the one where you just tilt uh, left forward while ZL targeting and press B to flex your muscles and stab. Oh, please. The stab. Oh, he's got you, Beth. Right here. Oh, shit. Wrong move. Yep. Uh, well, wait, did you still like that? That was so great, Link. But that wasn't a stab. What are you mumbling about? Link did that on purpose. Yeah, see, you get it, Beth. I mean, right, Link? Yep, he's, uh, don't worry, hang tight. There we go. <laughs> Shit. Oh, Link, just amazing. Since you're at it, how about you show us that other move? You know, that little twirly thing you do? I love that. What do you call it? A spin attack? Like, it's hard to briefly hold B and release it. There we go, hold up, and there we go. Oh, wow. Thanks, Link. I'm sorry you have to waste your time with these little brats when you must be tired from doing all the important stuff you do. Hey, wait! You gotta show us a jump attack before you go. You know, the one where you go, yeah, and leap through the air. You mean the one where you just hold ZL and press A? Oh yeah, real tough. You know, he, I mean, he already showed it to you by accident, but here you go. Wow! Thanks, Link! So, uh, I think I get it. Kinda. Hmm, maybe not. So this means that any time one of those naughty monkeys show up... Wah! Come here, you! Goddamn kids, man. They can't stay still for one second. But yeah, uh, big problems have arisen. The kids have gone off to chase after the monkey. And you know, with all that, I think it's actually a good place to uh, wrap up the video here. As uh, going forward is some pretty important stuff. So yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I can't wait to be playing this game again and doing the playthrough on this game. I love this game a lot, and I haven't replayed it in, like, years, so it's going to be really nice coming back to this game. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for enjoying my videos, and I'll see you in the next one, where Link is going to head further into the forest to go ahead and rescue those kids. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.